How to create this amazing fishbone floor pattern swatch inside Adobe Illustrator. So first we want to activate the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Grab the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle that is 5 by 1 square. Grab the selection tool, hold down the alt key to duplicate and make one duplication of this rectangle. Rotate the rectangle while holding down the shift key to make sure to rotate it 90 degrees. Now zoom in tight to this corner right here. Grab the selection tool and place this rectangle just in the right side of the original shape. The reason I zoom in so tight is that if you don't do it, I found that even with the snap to grid enabled, it will often misalign. So now select both shapes, move a little bit to the side, make a copy of these shapes and place them right here and check if it's perfectly aligned. Now zoom out a little bit, pick the selection tool and select all the shapes. Then pick the zoom tool and once again zoom in very tight to this corner right here. Grab the selection tool and make a copy of these shapes and place them right down here. And this part right here will almost certainly misalign if you don't zoom in very tight. So make sure to do that. Now we can zoom out again and we can start coloring our fishbone floor pattern. So go to the selection tool and to make the pattern it's very important to color the correct way. So make sure to do it like this. So the first color is optional. I will simply start with this light color right here. And for the second color right here, choose a slightly darker color. And here is the important part. Each line right here can only contain two colors and they need to be shifting like this. The pattern will not be repeatable if this shape doesn't have the same color as this one and this shape doesn't have the same color as this one. So simply use the same colors for these two shapes. Now for the second line, we can use two different colors, but the pattern needs to be the same. So select this shape and I will choose a different dark color for this one and a different light color for this one. Now simply repeat. And obviously you can use any color that you like as long as you follow this pattern. Now grab all the shapes, hold down the shift key while rotating and rotate until the shapes looks like an M. Then we need to disable the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, go to hide grid, then go to view again and uncheck snap to grid. Now zoom in tight to this corner right here and make sure all shapes is still selected. Pick the selection tool and make a copy of all these shapes and place them right down here and make sure it snaps. Then move down a little bit and to repeat this step simply click Ctrl D. I'll do it twice. Now zoom in tight to see if there's any misalignment. And this looks great. Then zoom out, select the rectangle tool and start drawing a rectangle from one of these intersections right here. Just make sure the intersection is below this wedge right here. So we can start from this intersection right here and drag it all the way to the other side. To this intersection right here. Then move down to this intersection right here. Then release the mouse button. The way you can tell if you did it correctly is that the part of these shapes the square has cut off should be sticking out of the other side. So as you can see, this triangle right here fits down on this shape right here. And this triangle right here fits on this shape right here. This means that we have done it correctly. Now pick the selection tool, select all the shapes, go to the stroke and disable the stroke. Then go to the Pathfinder menu right here. If it isn't open, you can go to Window and find the Pathfinder panel right here. So go to the Pathfinder panel and go to this button right here that says crop. And here we have our tile. So to create a pattern swatch, simply grab the tile, not copy it, move it and move it over to the swatch panel. Now we can zoom out, delete the tile, create a shape and give the shape the pattern swatch. 